Good morning and welcome to Wednesday morning yoga. Today we will be focusing on the principle of self healing. So join me at the mat. Go ahead and get yourself a block or a bolster or a meditation pillow and sit up nice and tall on that pillow, stacking your shoulders nicely over your hips as I am like this. You want to maintain a natural curve in your lower spine, allowing your pelvis bowl to dip forward a little bit and allowing your heart center to rise up, allowing your shoulders to fall back, and then bring your cranium back in alignment with the same plane as your shoulders and your hips. Placing your hands on your legs, go ahead and inhale your shoulders up to your ears, and then on your exhale, bring them back together and down, pulling them together on your spine. Create as much space as you can between your ears, between your shoulders, drawing the crown of your head up as tall as you can to the ceiling. And let's just start to get into our breath. Focus on having a nice, long energy channel open from the base of your spine all the way to the crown of the head. Breathing in and out of your nose. Expanding and contracting the belly. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Let's inhale our hands overhead. And then exhale them out and down. Inhale out and up. And then exhale out and down. One more inhale out and up. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment to establish your intention in this practice this morning. This practice is to focus on wellness, wellness within the context of making adjustments and going with the flow with the circumstances we may have before us. Learning how to soften our edges and lower our resistance and find ease in that effort. Allowing us to connect to and mold with the world around us. And in that process, finding our own path to wellness. Finding our own way to be 
healthy in a world that isn't always healthy. Finding our center. Finding our true self. Inhale. And then exhale, drop your hands. Inhale them overhead again. And then exhale your hands down. Let's go ahead and remove whatever it is you're sitting on. Well, <laughs> I was going to, but my finger slipped on it. <laughs> Let me put my pillow off to the side. And let's go ahead to the center of our mouth and set up in tabletop pose. And in your tabletop pose, draw your collarbones wide, draw your shoulder blades together on your spine, pull your belly button up against your, your spine, and allow maximum length from your tailbone all the way to the crown of your head. Inhale up into cow. And then exhale into cat, drawing your belly button to the spine, spine to the ceiling. Inhale into cow, allowing your belly to drop, drawing your heart center through, floating your sits bones up. And then exhale, reverse that, drawing your spine up to the ceiling. Inhale, draw your heart center through, dropping the belly, lifting up the sits bones. And then exhale, reverse that order, drawing your belly button up to the spine, spine to the ceiling. One more cow. And then exhale, return to that neutral spine. And let's go ahead and look over our right shoulder, creating a letter C on our right side. Maybe you can see your right foot. And then inhale, return to neutral, and exhale to the other side, curling to the left. Hmm. Let's do some gentle circles with our hips. So you're up on your knees, and just make circles with your hips opening up, moving in a way that feels good to you. Yeah. Maybe you want to reverse that order. move in ways that just feel organic. You say the body wants to move and you just move the body. Hmm. Let's do a couple more circles with our hips. Very nice. And let's go ahead and take our right foot forward as we set up for a lunge. And then, you know, let's make it nice and wide. So place our hands on the inside of our right foot, both hands, and just kind of move your hips back and forth. We're not really doing a real lunge. We're just creating space. So you're kind of doing those same circles again, only now you're just doing them with your foot out in a lunge move in any way that feels good to you. I'm just kind of moving my circles, a couple to the right, a couple to the left, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise, just opening up. Hmm. 
Go ahead and return your right knee back to join your left and take your left foot out in front. Have your hands to the right of your left foot, so on the inside of your left foot. And then once again, just focus on kind of opening up the hips. You shouldn't feel this in your back at all because all you're doing is opening up your hips. You don't need to make this really deep. I just want you to have movement. Let's do a couple more movements in that. And then we will return our left knee back to join our right. Placing our hands underneath our shoulders again, go into cow. And then exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. And then exhale into cat. Keep our hips up nice and high. Walk our hands forward as we go into puppy dog pose. This is your first stretch of your shoulders of the day. So I ask you to take care. Keep your hips high. Start to allow your heart center to descend between your hands, but you may not be able to draw your face to the floor yet because your shoulders are not open yet. You can undulate a little bit, kind of rise out gently, and then allow them to descend again. Using your breath as your guide, inhaling up. And then exhaling, allowing the heart center to fall. Inhaling up. Exhaling, allowing your heart center to fall. Inhaling up again. And exhaling, dropping your heart center. And then rise up again. Place your left hand in the center of the mat, out a little bit beyond your head. Take your right arm and thread it underneath your left and lay across your right shoulder. You can draw your hand close to your arm. You can clasp your hands if you want to. You can leave it out in front if that's comfortable for you, although I think that's compromising of the left shoulder. Draw your hips to the right to square them off. And just breathe with ease in this posture. One more inhale. Exhale, rise up. Switch sides, placing your right hand down, threading your left arm underneath your right, laying across the outside of your left arm, draw your hips to the left. Hmm. Nice and even deep breath. One more inhale. And then exhale. Go ahead and lift up and walk out into your puppy dog again. Now maybe you might be starting to find some more extension. And you can do the same thing as we did before. You can inhale up. And then actually uh, gently exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then inhale up again. And then exhale down. Go ahead and walk your hands back. <sighs> Go ahead and rise up on your knees. And <sighs> just stand on your knees for a moment. Feeling strong, create like a tadasana on your knees. Draw your belly button up and under your ribs. Drawing your shoulders down, allowing your head to pull back towards your shoulders. You just stand there for a moment on your knees, getting used to that. Let's go ahead and stand up, moving to the top of our mat. Let's go through about three very gentle, very slow sun salutations. So 
Inhale your hands up and overhead. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center, bend your knees and fold over your legs. And then allow your hands to sit, drop to the floor, drop their crown. Inhale, pushing your hands on top of your thighs or on your shins. Draw yourself up into kind of a letter L, sits bones floating back as you draw your heart center forward, pulling your shoulders back and down. And then exhale down. Take your right leg, go back and drop that into a lunge. Go ahead and rise up, place your hands on your knee and just kind of move forward, moving the hips forward into this lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhaling. Place your hands down. Move your left knee back to join your right. Now move forward into that puppy dog pose. So this takes place of your downward facing dog. And just feel that nice stretch, keeping your hips up high in the air. One more inhale. Exhale, rise up. Take your right foot forward into that lunge. Place your hands on top of your right knee. And then go ahead and sink into your lunge, lifting up your heart center, drawing your shoulders back and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, place your hands on the floor, tuck your left toes and lift up your left knee, and then kind of rock forward, bringing your left foot to join your right. Keep your knees bent again. Draw the crown of your head forward into a flat back and then gently fold forward. And then inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and fold over your legs with your torso, hands of prayer. And then drop your hands to the mat. Inhale into a flat spine. Exhale down. Take your left foot back into a lunge. Drop your knee. Place your hands on top of your right knee. Drawing your shoulders back and down, lifting up your heart center. Go ahead and sink into your hips. And let's breathe three times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Go ahead and place your hands down either side of your right foot. Bring your right knee back to join your left and then walk your hands forward, allowing your heart center to descend towards the mat. One more inhale, exhale, rise up. Take your right foot forward, lifting up into, I'm sorry, I'll take that back. <laughs> take your left foot forward. I got confused, this always happens to me. Rise up, place your <clears throat> hands on your knee, and then go ahead and move forward into that lunge, if that's appropriate. Inhaling. Exhaling, keeping your heart center lifted. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and place your hands on the mat. Tuck your right toes, lift up your right knee, and rock forward, bringing your right leg to join your left. 
Keep your knees bent. Draw the crown of your head forward into a flat spine on your inhale. And then on your exhale, go ahead and fold forward, dropping the crown. And then on the inhale, bring your hands out to the side and up as we rise our hands all the way up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. That's one of them. <laughs> inhale. Exhale, our hands down. Inhale, our hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center as we begin to forward fold. You can have your legs bent. You can have them straight according to what you want. Hands to the floor, drop your crown. Inhale into a flat spine. Exhale, drop your hands to the floor. Take your right foot back, drop your knee. Place your hands on your left knee and then sink forward. Inhale. Exhale. Place your hands on the floor around either side of your left foot. Bring your left foot back to join your right. And walk your hands forward in puppy dog pose with your hips high up into the sky. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands back. Take your right foot forward. Place your hands on your knees and move your hips forward into that lunge if that's appropriate for you. Inhale. Exhale. Place your hands on the mat on your inhale. And then your exhale, bring your left foot forward. Inhale into a flat spine. Exhale down. Inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, hounds to prayer. Inhale. Exhale, your hands down. Inhale, your hands up. Exhale, slightly bending the legs as we swan dive forward. Inhale into a flat spine. Exhale, your hands down. Take your left knee back or your left foot back, dropping your left knee. Rising up on your, your hands on your right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, drop your hands to the floor and bring your right foot back to join your left. Walk your hands forward and puppy dog pose. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, rise up, walk your hands back, and then take your left foot forward, placing your hands on your left knee. Move your hips forward into that lunge. Inhale. Exhale. And then go ahead and place your hands on the floor. Tuck your right toes, lift up your right knee, and bring your right knee forward to join your left foot. Inhale to a flat spine, exhaling down. Inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, bring hands to heart center. We're gonna do one more round of the sun salutation very slowly. Inhale. Exhale, our hands down. Inhale, our hands up. Exhale, slightly bending the legs as we swan dive forward. Hands to the floor, dropping your crown. Inhale into that flat spine. Exhale, hands to the floor. Bring your right foot back and drop your knee. Rise up with your hands on your left knee. Inhale. And then exhale, allow your hips to move forward. Inhale. And then exhale, place your hands on the floor. Take your left knee back to join your right. And then walk your hands forward in puppy dog pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise up. And then take your right foot forward, placing your hands on top of your right knee. Inhale, 
And then exhale, allow your hips to move forward. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands down on the mat, tuck your left toes, lifting up your left knee, and rock forward, bringing your right foot to your left foot to join your right. Inhale into flat spine. Exhale down. Inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, bring hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, our hands down. Inhale, our hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands to the floor. Take your left foot back into space. Dropping your left knee. Rise up, placing your hands on top of your right knee. Inhale. And then exhale, allow your hips to move forward. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands on the floor. Take your right knee back to join your left. Move your hands forward into that puppy dog pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. Um, take your left foot forward. <laughs> I did that confusion again. <laughs> Place your hands on top of your left knee. Inhale. And on your exhale, allow your hips to move forward. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands down. Tuck your right toes, lift up your right knee, and then rock forward, bringing your right foot to join your left. Inhale into the flat spine. Exhale down. And then inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, bring hands to hair at center. I don't know about where you folks are at. We're having an unseasonably warm October. It feels like a summer morning right now, and I am warm. <laughs> I don't understand this weather. It's very frustrating. Uh, just stand here and think to yourself, what does my wellness mean to me? My physical wellness? My mental wellness? My emotional wellness? my spiritual wellness. What does all of that mean and how do we achieve that? Well, part of it starts right here. You're on the mat this morning. You're giving back to yourself. And that's beautiful. Let's inhale our hands overhead. And then exhale, swan dive forward. Move back into tabletop position. And then let's go ahead and turn on the mat. So you're gonna face the long sides of your mat and I'm gonna face the camera. Go ahead and take our right leg out to the side and go ahead and rise up. So we are setting up for our gate pose sequence that I enjoy bringing to you. This is a wonderful way to open up the side body waist each day. So uh, somebody just asked me yesterday, how do I achieve lower back health? Well, there's a couple of ways, but one of the things that I have found is that open hips mean a healthier back and open side waist help open up the hips even further. So take our hands into warrior two arms and go ahead and dip to your left, placing your hands on the floor, right hand to the ceiling. And just allow that stretch to take place from your ankle all the way up through the hips, through the side body, up to the ribs. So it's like you've got your arms in uh, the same position they would be in if you were in triangle, but you're leaning to the left with your right foot out to the side and you are just stretching out that right side body so it's kind of like a modified plank if you will and then go ahead and rise up into warrior two arms and then dip to the other side in gate pose 
So placing your right hand on your left leg gently and then curling to the right, drawing your left arm alongside your left ear, draw your right shoulder back a little bit and get a maximum stretch all along your left side body. Inhale, rise up into those warrior two arms again, dipping your left hand down to the floor, allowing your right hand to come up to the ceiling. Push your hips slightly forward to keep your alignment. Inhaling. And then exhaling. And then rise up. Place your right hand on your right leg. Lift your left arm up alongside your ear, curling over to the right, drawing your right shoulder back as we go into gate pose. Rise up into those warrior two arms again. Drop your left hand to the floor. Rising your right fingertips up. Lifting up out of the shoulder, creating maximum space and extension. And then let's go back into gate pose one more time. Lifting up into warrior two arms. Dropping your right hand to the floor. Lifting your left hand up. Drawing your left shoulder back. Curling over to the right. And then lift up. Place your hands on your hips and go ahead, however you do it, bring your right knee back to join your left. And then take your left foot out to the side. So we're standing on our right knee. Our left foot is out to the side. Hands right now are on our waist. Lift up your heart center, lift up the crown of your head. Bring your hands out to the side, inhaling. And then on your exhale, dip to the right. So, left arm is up to the sky, pushing your hips just slightly forward to create space and alignment. Drawing your left shoulder back, you've got your arms like in triangle arms right now. Rise up into warrior two arms, and then take your left hand on your left leg, Bring your right arm up alongside your right ear, drawing your shoulder back, and then curl over to the left in that gate pose. Rise up, warrior two arms, tilt over to the right, right hand on the floor, left hand up to the sky. And then go ahead and rise up in those warrior two arms, Putting your left arm on your left leg, curling over to the left in that gate pose. Nice, beautiful stretch all on your right side. Let's go ahead, back to those warrior two arms, dipping to the right, lifting your left arm up. And then inhale, rise up. And then exhale, curl to the left in your gate pose, stretching out your right side. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I'm going to get a set of blocks because I think that I want us to do runner stretch this morning. Well, I bought myself a set of half blocks. I'm kind of excited about those. So go ahead and place your blocks down on the floor. And go ahead and lower to your knees. And go ahead and sit back initially on your heels. Let's just stretch out the top of our thighs very gently. Maybe you want to use your hands to massage them. If you ever find this too difficult to be sitting on your heels the way that I am, you can always sit higher on a block or a bolster, whatever works for you. All right, so let's take our blocks in either hand and move forward into kind of that modified, uh, <laughs> modified, um, I'll actually move it this way, modified tabletop. So I'm up nice and high on the box, okay? Take your right foot forward and go into that lunge that we were in as we were doing the uh, sun salutations. 
draw your shoulders back and down. And then very gently move your hips back, pulling your belly button into the spine as you move your hips back. And as they come back, allow your right leg to straighten and then allow your toes to come up. Keep your heart center high. Move your blocks back so that your heart center can stay high and your shoulders can stay on your back. And just enjoy the gentle nature of this stretch. I do not want you to move any more deeply into it. I just want you to allow your hamstring to start to gently open up. And I do not want you to feel this in your lower back. And just breathe evenly in and out slowly. One more inhale, exhale, walk your blocks forward, move back into your lunge, and then with control, draw your belly button up as you bring your foot back, right knee to join the left. Take your left foot forward, moving into that lunge. So you're gonna feel this on your right side now with that lunge, drawing your blocks back, drawing your shoulders back and down, and then drawing your belly button into your spine, move your hips up and back, straightening out that left leg, keep your heart center high, and then as you move back, move your blocks back and allow your toes to curl off the floor, moving into that runner's lunge. I'm gonna create a little bit more space because on this side I have a little bit more open, a more open nature. Okay, so you can always make adjustments in this pose. If you feel like you're dipping down but not getting that stretch of the hamstring, you can just make that adjustment by moving back slightly into the lunge, moving your foot a little bit forward, using your toes to curl, cur inch it forward, and then rock back on your heel, toes pointed to the sky, heart center moving towards the toes, but it's up nice and high and concentrating the stretch just on the back of your hamstring. So happy hips, healthy hips are connected to open hamstrings. Hamstrings get really short from hours and hours of sitting at work or in other activities, and they need to be gently opened up. One thing you do not want in life is a hamstring injury. Hamstring injuries take a very long time to heal. Okay, let's go ahead and move back into that lunge very gently drawing our belly button in, pull our knee, left knee to join the right, then take our right knee forward, or right heel forward, I'm sorry, move back into that lunge, move as far into it as feels good to you, rise up your heart center, draw your shoulders back and down, and then on your exhale, pull your belly button up, pull your hips back, straighten out your right leg as you curl up your toes, and then move your blocks back into any position that works for you, drawing the heart center forward as you're keeping your heart center up, continuing to draw your shoulders onto the back, concentrating that stretch just along the back of the hamstring. So you should not feel this in your lower back. If you do, just lift up a little bit. You will still get a nice stretch of your hamstring. And then go ahead, walk your blocks forward, moving back into that lunge, draw your belly button up and move your right knee back to join your left. Take your left foot forward into that lunge, move into the lunge, draw your heart center back. I mean, I'm sorry, draw your shoulders back, lift up your heart center. And then on your exhale, go ahead and pull your belly button into the spine as you bring your hips back, straightening out your leg, and then lifting up your toes. I need to create a little bit more space. There we go. And then concentrating your energy on just the stretch of your left hamstring. And there goes my dog, she's barking. 
And very good, rise up. So you can place your blocks aside. And let's go ahead and lay on our left side. Laying on our left side, what I'd like to do is just some gentle leg raises of our right leg. So go ahead and just lift up the right leg up to like the same height as the torso, as the top of the torso, and then lower it back down. Lift it up. And then exhale, lower it back down. And then lift it up one more time, lowering it back down. Go ahead and bend that leg. You can keep your leg underneath, bent or straight. And reach back behind and grab your right foot. Initially, just focus on holding the foot there. Just lay there, holding your foot, stretching out the top of your quadricep. And then, very gently, start to move your knee back in space. You don't need to pull. You're just holding your foot with your right hand. But just push your knee back in space as far as you can without it hurting. It shouldn't hurt. This should just feel like a nice stretch. And you should feel kind of a strengthening of your sacroiliac joint above your hip on your back. And you should feel a, strength, a lengthening and a stretching of your right hamstring, I mean, I'm sorry, of your right quadricep to the top of your thigh above your knee. And if you feel tension on your knee, just kind of pull your leg forward a little bit and maybe even release the foot. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and release that down. Stack your right foot on top of your left, your right leg on top of your right leg. And bring your right hand overhead. See if you can get like a nice, long right side body stretch by reaching your hand overhead. Ah. Go ahead and place your right hand on the floor. Bend your legs. Gently bring your left arm forward and rise up. And let's switch sides. And so now laying down on your right side, let's initially just start with some very low leg lifts. Lifting your left leg up to hip height or torso height, lowering it back down. Be sure to draw your belly button in at the same time to stabilize your core. Lifting up, lowering back down, and lifting up again. And lowering back down. And then, like we said, go ahead and reach back for your left foot. Your left hand to left foot. Just sit there for just a moment, getting into that. And then start to just move your leg back. So the energy is actually coming from your left leg. You're not pulling with your hand. You're pushing into it using the muscles on the front of your leg, using your quadricep muscles. Getting a nice stretch all along the top of your quadricep and feeling strengthening of your sacroiliac joint because you're slightly arching your back on that side. Pushing back. One more inhale, and then exhale, go ahead and release that. And then let's go ahead and get that full body stretch, reaching our left hand overhead, creating maximum distance from our wrist all the way to our ankles. And then go ahead, place your left hand on the floor. So wherever you rise, let's go up into a seated position. And then let's take our deer pose. So you can be facing the long side of the mat, as I am, facing the long side of my round mat, right? <laughs> so to take deer pose, you want your left shin to be parallel to the front of that mat, and take your right leg back. So basically, your shin and your right thigh are 
both kind of parallel with the map. Now, one way that you increase the stretch of this is you can draw your right knee back even further if you want. Initially, you're gonna start off with your right hip up high, so your sits bone is not touching the floor. Go ahead and rise up, pushing your hips forward, lifting your right sits bone off the floor. And then on your exhale, draw your sits bone down, which is gonna cause your left knee to come up, and that's okay. And then go ahead and rise up, pushing your hips forward, lifting your right sits bone off the floor. And on your exhale, draw it back down. Inhale, rise up, pushing your sit bone forward. And then exhale, draw your right sit bone back, lifting up your left leg. And then one more inhale, moving your sit bone forward, dropping your left knee to the floor. And then on your exhale, pull your right sit bone back and allow your left knee to come up. Go ahead and lift up your leg and find your way back to the front and then switch sides. Right leg parallel to the mat, left side parallel to the front of the mat, okay? And then if you want to increase that stretch a little bit along the front of the thigh and along the groin area here on the left side, you can just move your knee back just a little bit. It's not a big, big change. But right now, I'm fully sitting on my right hip and my left this one is lifted up. Inhale, push your hips forward. And then on your exhale, go ahead and draw your left hip back, allowing your right knee to rise up. Inhale, push the hip forward, lifting up your left hip bone. And then on the exhale, draw your left hip bone back down as your right hip, as your right knee comes up. Inhale, moving your hip forward, lifting up your left hip bone off the floor. And then on your exhale, pulling it back down. Ah, one more inhale up. And then use this as opportunity to lift up the leg and go ahead and let's take cobbler's pose. So cobbler's pose isn't really all the way back. You know, it doesn't have to be all the way back here. I'm inviting you to open up your diamond a little bit, allowing your knees to naturally open up, but you have the soles of your feet together and you can sit nice and high. I'm gonna show you this idea. See how I'm sitting? And my knees aren't touching the floor, that's okay. That's not the point of this. I want you to sit nice and tall, wrapping your hands around the front of your knees, drawing your shoulders back and down. And just enjoy sitting nice and tall like this, allowing your hips to naturally open up. Both of your sits bones in equal contact with the floor. And just sitting. Once you inhale, rise your heart center up. And then the exhale, start to fold forward just a little bit. We're just stretching out gently the back of the hips. Don't pull too deeply. This is our morning routine. It's gentle yoga. We don't want to overstrain these muscles first thing in the morning and these soft tissue connections. We don't want to overstretch our ligaments. So keep your back as straight as you can. My upper back is a little bit rounded as my shoulders pull forward. But truthfully, my spine is mostly straight. And then you're drawing your heart center forward, but keeping your spine straight. And then go ahead and rise up. And then if you want, you can bring your feet back a little bit closer to your pelvis. Place your hands behind you. And then go ahead and rise up your heart center, allowing your knees to fall out. And then exhale, go ahead and release that. And let's make our way back to that position last week we were in with our legs up against the wall. So go ahead and turn towards your wall. I'm gonna to move towards mine. 
And go ahead, get your hips as close as you can to the wall as you bring your feet up to the wall. So this is a nice way to reverse your blood flow, drawing all of your energy down to your body. And it has this immediate effect of relaxation, having your feet up against the wall. You can always bend them a little bit if you need to, so you don't have to have them straight up against the wall if that's not available to you. And this, just try to find some stillness. So I'm gonna lift up my hips a little bit so that they are even against the mat. I'm laying my body completely on the floor. Your hands can be facing the floor, they can be facing up, they can be facing the insides of your, you know, the, the, facing your hips. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to focus on allowing your shoulders to fall into the floor. Focus on allowing your hips to fall into the floor. Relaxing all of your muscles so you do not need to do anything to engage in this pose. You're allowing the wall to fully support your legs. You're allowing your feet, your ankles, your shins and calves, and your thighs to completely relax. Drawing your attention to your middle section, hollowing out your belly, allowing everything that's in the belly button down to be softened and relaxed. And then continuing to draw your energy, your attention up to your shoulders. Again, reminding everything that's between to fully relax. Allowing the floor to fully support you in all ways. And then go ahead and draw your attention to Everything that is above your shoulders, your neck, your facial muscles, your jawline, crown your head, your eyes. Just tell it all to relax and release any tension it may be holding. And just breathe in and out. Focusing on fully relaxing your body into the mat. And draw your attention to your own life. And what it is like when you make plans and your plans have to change. Do you view that as an interruption or frustration? Or do you view that as an opportunity? So in this class, we said we were focusing on wellness. We're also focusing on the Anamuka hand mudra, which is the gesture of the ring finger, where you take your hands and create a fist and then pop out your ring fingers and place the tips of your ring fingers together. You can do this while you're laying down if you want. You can even fully rest your hands on your belly so that you don't feel like you're working because we're in our resting pose. This mudra is aligned with the sacral chakra. You notice we did some sacral work this morning. And we are reminded in the sacrum, in the sacral chakra, that Wellness comes from being willing to be flexible, willing to do things in different, more positive ways. So, this is why I urge you to lay here and think about how do you feel when you have to make plans.
How do you feel when things are not quite going as you anticipate? Can you shift gears? Can you draw something out of it that's really helpful? Go ahead and lay here in this mudra, laying in this position with our legs up against the wall for just a few minutes. Go ahead and come back into consciousness. I was so deeply relaxed. I felt like I was falling asleep. So maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Go ahead and bring our feet down the wall. Roll over to your right or your left side. And then just lay there for just a moment. Go ahead and rise up. Make our way back to seated position. However you arrive. <laughs> Go ahead and sit down. Take your easy seated sukhasana. Inhale our hands up. Exhale our hands down. Inhale our hands up. Exhale our hands down. And one more inhale up. Exhale, hands to your forehead. And then bring them down to your heart center. Bow your head. Wellness starts with you. It starts with taking time to dedicate to practice. To dedicate to your health. It starts with a change of perspective with a willingness to be flexible with our circumstances and our lives. Thank you for taking this time today to focus on your own wellness. The light in me joins the light in you. The yogi in me honors the yogi in you. Namaste. Thank you for coming.